everybody, Jetson Charnel with Inventech Marine Solutions and Lifeproof Boats. Today I want to introduce you to one of our 31 walk-around cabins built for a sheriff agency, Collier County in Florida. So today, one of the biggest things I want to stress is how we laid this boat out. You can tell good balance from stem to stern, where we have the cabin about midship with a great amount of room up at the bow, a great amount of room in the stern. We've got the engines running right now. We've got the generator running right now. We've got the air conditioner running right now. Now I wanna show you this because of how quiet this boat is with everything operational. So right now, back here at the stern, I can open this up. There's our generator. Tucked nicely into this. Our rigging locker, great access to all the service points. Over on this side, batteries, Steering, fuel, you name it. Everything's accessible. Very easy to service these boats. When you're using this boat, one of the most important things was storage. If you have an occupant on the boat, you want to make sure you have plenty of room for them. So that's why we did this with this seat box. You can tell the length of this seat box is fantastic. If you ever have somebody you have to take into custody, you can always store them just inside the seat box. Thank you. Stay there, please. All right. In this boat's configuration, we made sure we had a mast that we could lower with all of our electronics, lights, and cameras on board. Wheel in Liberty 2 light bar. You can see our blue strobes going right now. Above that, a Garmin radar and our FLIR camera at the top. So it's got a fantastic visibility from the top of the cabin. This cabin rooftop has been painted with a bus coat paint job to help reflect any heat because it's going into a hot area with a lot of UV. Cabin sides configured with slider glass doors or slider windows here and slider glass doors on the side. Nice and opening, solid locking positions. Easy to slide forward with just a grab to be able to close this or lock it in the open position. Good headroom in here, and even better once you're inside the cabin. But you can tell from this seat here, we got shock mitigated seats at the helm, shocks X4 seats, and Corbin, Corbin cushions here. These things are fantastically comfortable, folding armrests, and we have sliders on them as well. Cup holders in the middle between the seats, the navigator and the coxswain. And then our helm, medical tucked up here to starboard. Nice adjustable tilt helm here. Electronic power steering, mercury screen, rudder indicator for our electronic steering, zip weight controls. We put our 12 inch Garmin in the center so that we can raise this little middle section here and be able to have access right to the forward trunk cutting. We can plumb a head unit into this cutting and have a private head down there, or you could just put a porta potty, but otherwise it works just great for storage. Over here at the navigator station, we have another 12 inch screen and a FLIR controller. Our fusion stereo system is tied in with weather and satellite as well. Overhead, we have an instrument panel where we have our VHF radios, our police radio, and of course our hailer and light controllers right here in the middle. Air conditioning by a rooftop air conditioner here makes it really nice and cozy in here even on the hot days. Everything is well insulated as you can see in the back of the cabin. We have a tall gun locker to our starboard side with a little Corian countertop there for when you have to write up some paperwork. And then of course just bench seating and storage. At the stern, that bench seat across the back, we could seat five people across the stern of this boat. Up here at the bow of the boat, we have plenty of room if you're coming alongside another vessel to be able to interact or bring people on board via our bow door and our fold out swim ladder. So even if you have the beach with the boat, it's super easy to lower that, be able to get people on board and off board. Even if you're coming up to a dock, you can lower this and drive the boat right up to the dock. Up here, this one doesn't have a windlass, but we had to have a place to put the anchor. So we made sure to still have an anchor pulpit underneath the bow with our anchor system coming up into an anchor locker above waterline. 
A couple additional side lockers gives us more storage, port and starboard. And as you can see here, good high rails for safety up here in the bow. We made sure to have additional rails around the cabin. So as I'm walking around the cabin in rough seas, I can make sure to stay in contact with multiple points. Back here at the stern, we've laid this out. It's easy to get above and below from one level to another level with our step system here. But back here, you have easy access to anything at the stern because there's a bunch of rigging because this has a generator in it. So we wanted to make sure we gave good access to all of that. We put a Freeman watertight hatch right in the center that gets us right down to our seat strainer, our exhaust system, and our seat chest, which helps separate water and air while this boat's running at high speed and you're doing evasive maneuvers, you wanna make sure you're keeping green, clean water to the generator so it's continuing to run and the air conditioner is continuing to go. Back here with the Mercury's, you have service points right here at the top of the engines. So these engines are fantastic with the newer V8s. They've been great since they came out. We've been very happy with them overall. Our crash guard around the outboards here gives you access on either side to be able to enter and exit from the water. Whether you want an additional dive ladder on this side, on starboard, we make sure to put a recovery ladder no matter what. Tow spool back here, set it up with 300 feet of three quarter inch line, no problem. And as you can see from here, I'm right next to the dock, right step from the swift step back off onto the boat through the PRC. PRC is a nice lower point to be able to work to the sides as needed. Thank you so much for joining us today to check out this 31 walk around cab and check out some of our other videos for new vessels coming out new ideas. Make sure whenever you're closing up at the end of the night you didn't forget any of your occupants inside the vessel. Oh thanks guys.